Hello, this is Sheshachana from Africa at Mysore. The Jupiter transit is the talk of the day and uh, many of my students online and also offline have, have asked me to make videos on this. So I am doing it in a little detail. I am going to do all the um, Rashis one by one so that you will understand the transit of Jupiter in the sign of Pisces. One, one, one thing people should understand is that Jupiter, though is a very, you know, it's a, known as a benevolent planet, a very benefic planet and all that. But still, when it gives trouble, it gives extraordinary difficult troubles. People go through a lot of trouble. So, <clears throat> from 29th of July, Jupiter has already transited into Pisces, so I don't have to tell that. People know that Jupiter has transited into Pisces two days back. So from 29th July 2022 to 23rd of November 2022, Jupiter will be retrograde and a little slow in motion in the first 10 days and the last 10 days. It will be very slow. We call this as as good as dead in motion. That is Dagda. It's as, as good as, you know, a, a material goes up and then stays there and then comes back. It's like throwing a ball. It becomes zero in one place and then comes back. So that's how it happens in the planetary, uh, you know, orbit. So that uh, planet will go in a zigzag motion from the perspective of Earth. It actually doesn't go in a zigzag motion. It moves normally in its orbit at the normal speed. But because of Earth's speed and the relativity uh, of motion between Earth and Jupiter, we feel that Jupiter is going slow, fast, very fast, I know in, in breakneck speed, that is now it actually is going at panic speed. Now it just entered into the sign of Pisces and by 29th of July 2022 and till 23rd of November 2022, it will become retrograde. So that is a very important point to be discussed with regard to each Rashi. And uh, the, the caution is that uh, people have to take a lot of... Uh, uh, decisions carefully and do not take abrupt decisions. Unnecessary decisions should not be taken because it is retrograde. And why abrupt decisions should not be taken? Because Jupiter is wisdom and we need to take decisions wisely. And when it is retro, the wisdom goes reverse or it is extremes. It goes to the extremities. So let us now talk about Aries and the effects of for those people who are born under Aries Lagna or Aries Moon, that is Moon is in Aries, like Ashwini Nakshatra, Bharani Nakshatra and Kritika Nakshatra first father. So usually the transit what we see is uh, mostly from the Lagna, that is the ascendant and for the emotional levels and for the levels of the thought processes, that is the thinking, planning and all those things, we see it from the Moon. So this is the preamble to this uh, talk. So uh, today uh, we will be talking about Jupiter's transit in Aries. So Jupiter is the ninth and the twelfth Lord, you know, transiting the twelfth house and in its own sign. So ninth and the twelfth Lord from Aries because it is the Lord of Sagittarius and also the Lord of Pisces. So it is now transiting over Pisces. And it is uh, in its own sign. We will see whether it is going to be good and how it is going to be. So there is a chance for people who are Aryans. This is, this is particularly for Aryans. You can settle abroad. You have good chances of immigration and you can become famous. You can become a great thinker or a philosopher. This is because of the 12th house which is also the house of deeper thought. Moksha. That is where the 12th house is sitting. So philosophical and spiritual thinking is also what seen from the 12th house because for sadhana, for particular sadhana, if a person has to do something good, the 12th house has to give good support. So he can be a good, uh, you can be a good great thinker or a philosopher. You can become a spiritual guru and also can deliver lectures throughout the world. That is, you will be roaming around. And why this? Uh, abroad settlement and uh, uh, you know roaming around is coming is because the ninth lord is for travel 
spiritual travel pilgrimage travel or you can also become a good uh, teacher or a lecturer or a professor going around uh, the world uh, you know talking in uh, talk universities or something like that and also because 12th house represents abroad that is foreign foreign settlement so there is a very good chance that people who are in aries if they are also going through the jupiter dasha these people can very beautifully have a nice time of settling abroad and uh, in a good place in a good position because jupiter is also the ninth lord for aries so in that particular dasha it will obviously do good so uh, particularly if 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 jupiter is placed well in the horoscope you know it's not that for every arian they'll go abroad nothing like that so <clears throat> if the fifth if jupiter is placed in the fifth house for an arian like in the house of uh, leo or with the fifth lord in a little distance because it is sun then these people can go for higher education and knowledge it's a fantastic thing to do so uh, pilgrimage is also there which actually is one of the things which many people want to go through and many people are waiting from past two years because of the corona period and people could not have gone through pilgrimages so now pilgrimage is open and also this is a chance for Aryans to go through good pilgrimage tours so you might uh, spend a lot of money for charitable cause and uh, can also become a good philanthropist because you are generous and you are helpful to people. That is the basic character of Jupiter. It's a hum human. It's, it's very humane. It gives a lot of good kindness. You know, modesty is the key word for Jupiter. So these people can become very good philanthropists. So I just made some notes of this. So they can build or construct a house or sell a property, particularly selling a property as the fifth aspect is on the fourth house that is jupiter which is transiting in the 12th house from aries is aspecting the fourth house that is the kirk rashi that is the cancer and fourth house means residence and jupiter's aspect is a fantastic aspect and it will give a lot of strength to the native to get uh, the strength to take loans and build a, build good houses construct houses and also because jupiter is in that 12th house and it is aspecting the 4th house and it is the ninth lord and the 12th lord there is a chance that if you sell your property also you will get a very good rate in this particular in this particular year but be aware the retrogression period which i have already told in the starting of the class between july and november that there can be chances that you may go through losses because of sudden decisions so please think over plan and then take your decisions in this particular period that small period of three and a half months so do not indulge in any fight or argument have a lot of patience show patience in this year because unnecessarily you might go through a lot of depression and because of depression you will you might go through a lot of tough circumstances in your workplace so you you might become you know it's see lazy people don't work that's a different thing here you are not working because you might have lost your job. So do not unnecessarily argue in your job place and lose your job. This is a, not a, such a great year uh, for a, a Aries uh, ascendant or Aries moon to, you know, go through stifles in the job, that is arguments in the job. Don't do that. So you are, this time is very good for preparation for competitive exams very good excellent time for preparation so that means this year november you can do very well in the competitive examinations after november that is after they become direct after after they finish retrogression and then become direct that is the day in the sense that jupiter and saturn both are retro going to become retrograde together so please be aware of your health and what you are eating because there is a chance that you might end up in a hospital you know unnecessarily for uh, food poisoning or gastritis and difficulties of the abdomen and uh, unnecessary expenses you will have to go through. So this is the uh, overall uh, prediction for this year's Jupiter transit into Pisces. So thank you very much for uh, today's class.